welcome to quick learning today we are going to learn a very important transaction that we normally use in production planning or the planning of some the capacity of any work center or any production line or production unit this is to display the capacity of a work center and the transaction we will be using for this is CR12 yes CR12 is used to display the production capacity of any particular line or area so we will press CR12 and we will uh, you know we will execute it for example we are doing this uh, this uh, is displayed in front of you these four to five tabs are available and we will fill each of them and I will explain that what is the meaning of this so on the first item on the first uh, side you can see that there is plant you have to enter plant for which plant you want to see the capacity so I have entered the plant the next is the capacity category uh, the capacity in in exact words or you can enter the capacity category for example I want to write or I want to see the capacity category for the machine then I will select 001 then again here is the work center for a specific work center for that particular plant for example I want to select the the capacity the category for PRD01 unit so when this is uh, displayed here I will again write 001 capacity category here when we will press enter you can see the main page will be displayed here and the capacity category uh, the capacity of this particular line is uh, displayed in front of you so you can see the details there is the plant its work center capacity category planner group uh, factory calendar ID for seven days and we start at 12 it closes at 24 so operating time is 24 hours so this is the capacity defined for this particular line in hours for each day seven days of the calendar for example if I want to you know change this category what I will do uh, I will I will select 002 and we will see if it is available or not so for this particular line 002 is not available let's like select 003 and we will keep on checking that uh, whether it is available or not so same for the 003 we will check again so 003 is also not available so that means that for this particular line or production line only capacity in 001 is available let's select 008 if we can select 08 I have pressed this and you can see 008 is also not available for selection and so no data is available in 008 uh, we can check uh, this 0012 as well just for our understanding so that what it shows I will write here we will press enter and you can see that the 012 is also not available so for any particular production line only 001 is available that shows the capacity of any uh, work center for example uh, let's may, uh, take some other examples let me change this is for 01 okay we have already seen let's see for 03 uh, for 03 you can see that this is the same for 03 uh, this is the line 3 of this plant and the capacity is you know being displayed in front of you here that what is its capacity for example if you want to enter some other work center let's search out some other work centers for this particular plant and let's see what is the capacity that is being displayed for those work center for example what we do is I have selected the line uh, let's select uh, the syrup manufacturing uh, if it displays or not for 001 you can see yes so for the syrup manufacturing you can see the same capacity has been displayed so uh, that's all for today for this particular uh, transaction I hope this session would have been very useful to you uh, please uh, like and share this video and subscribe to our channel until next time bye bye